All right, guys, you guys have all seen this one trick that I've done. All right, you guys have all seen this negative B over A trick. This trick obviously does not apply to linear equations. It only applies to quadratics. So if you see like x squared minus 8x plus 16, if I asked you right now, what is the sum of the solutions of this equation? What would you do? Would you try to uh, factor, uh, which would be x minus 4 squared? Or will you be faster and be diligent and do negative B over A? So negative, negative 8, which is 8 over 1, which is 8. <clears throat> so the sum of the solutions for this equation is 8. But that's the negative b over a trick, right? That's the trick that can literally make a one minute problem into five seconds. Now, this problem right here, guys, you guys see a, b, c, d. If I asked you right now, I want you guys to find which of these lines out of a, b, c, d are, is parallel to this line. So which line formed by these equations is parallel to this line? I want you guys to pause the video and try to find out right now. And you guys may take a minute, you guys may take 30 seconds, you guys may take two minutes, depending on how fast you are. Regardless, I'm going to show you the fastest way possible. So pause the video. And if you haven't paused the video, then pause it. Do it. Subscribe right now. Make that like button a nice C blue. And then I'll continue on this video. All right, you guys liked it, video. Good job. Let's get into it now. So the way to do this, a lot of people would probably do, is they may uh, see this. They would try to calculate the slope because, you know, with parallel lines, that means whatever the slope of this line is, the answer will have the same exact slope, a different y-intercept. So what they would do is they would uh, do negative 3y equals negative 5x plus 8. They would divide by negative 3, and they will see that the slope is 5 over 3. So then they're like, all right, so I just have to find which, which of these lines has a slope 5 over 3. C, all right, C's answer. That's too long, man, especially since this is, a, this is some easy problem. This is some easy numbers I give you guys. Sometimes the numbers are a little more complex, more fractions involved. So there's a much faster way. That trick is negative a over b. Negative a over b will give you the slope of a standard equation. This is a standard form, right? This is slope intercept form, this is standard form. To find the slope using the standard form without having to convert to y intercept form, all you do is negative a over b. Five is a, so this is a, this is b. Oh, there you go, this is, that's a, that's b. So what's negative a, negative five? What's b, negative three? All right, slope is five over three done which of these slopes are is five over three c all right i'm done boom 30 seconds turn into like what five seconds maybe two seconds if i'm not if you're not talking to someone guys this is super easy like the video share subscribe i'm gonna have some youtube live streams all right if you made it to the end comment down rv live stream in the description in the comment section below join my discord details, details in the description good luck guys on your august sat or september sat you know depending on whether your uh, sc century got canceled Thank you guys for watching. Peace out, dude. Peace out, dude. Peace.